Ukosefu wa usalama ungali unaendelea kushuhudiwa katika eneo la Juja. Wanafunzi wa chuo kikuu cha JKWAT wakiathiriwa zaidi. Wanafunzi hao wamekuwa wakilalamika kuwa kumekuwa na ongezeko la wahuni katika eneo hilo ambao wanalenga kuwavamia na kuwaibia wanafunzi jambo ambalo hupindukia wanafunzi wengi kupoteza maisha yao kisa cha hivi karibuni kikiwa siku ya Jumanne ambapo mwanafunzi mmoja alivamiwa na kuuawa na watu wasiojulikana waliokuwa na nia ya kumuibia Inaripotiwa kuwa mwadhiriwa alikuwa akielekea kwa rafiki yake akiwa na mpenzi wake kuomba nakala alipovamiwa na wezi waliomuibia na kumdunga kisu kwenye kifua na tumbo Jaws stabbed around midnight It's not the way this year reported that it is at 2 a.m. it's not 2 a.m. it's 2 it's around midnight This year came around 2 2 a.m. they had to take Ijo to a dispensary where they pronounce him dead they, they took him to the mortuary after I, they took him to mortuary they had to ask for some few investigation from Linda of which Linda wrote a statement and she went home to Bungoma so up to now this year I have not said anything about what is going on we can let go of a phone a laptop a handbag but a comrade's life uh, that is insane and we need sanity in juja the day then the sudden death of comrade juma is very saddening to us it's a bitter pill to swallow and very disconsolate kifo cha mwanafunzi huyo aliyekuwa kwa mwaka wake wa nne wa masomo kimewagadhabisha wanafunzi ambao waliandamana moja kwa moja hadi kwenye ofisi ya kaunti ndogo ya juja kilio chao kikiwa cha haki kutendeka maafisa wa polisi wamelaumiwa kwa ukosefu wa usalama katika eneo hilo wanafunzi wakisema kuwa wamelegea katika kushika doria licha yao kufahamu hali ya usalama katika eneo hilo every comrade is worried of his life and her life and at this juncture is the time that we call upon the DCIO together with the security management and the national police council to intervene and ensure that the security of the students is addressed and it's addressed for once and for all i'm a lady sina security yangu hata kama ni saa 3 asumchana hata kama ni saa 2 asubuhi sijui kama ninaweza toka na nifike penye naenda salama so we need security tunafaa tushughulikie kwa sababu hatukutoka nyumbani kukuja pa kuuliwa na kunyang'anywa vitu na it is so sad that mzazi anaweza pigia simu kwambia mtoto wake ameuliwa akienda kutafuta notes na alikuja shule kusoma Mkuu wa idara ya upelelezi katika eneo la Juja Richard Mwaura amedhibitisha kisa hicho ambapo amesema kuwa watu saba wametiwa ambaroni wakishukiwa kuhusika na mauaji hayo wawili wao aidha walibainika kuwa walihusika ambapo wanatarajiwa kufika kotini kujibu mashtaka ya mauaji siku ya Alhamisi I've been in communication with the university the, our security team has been in communication with the university the student leadership and us and since that incident happened we have never slept as well because we owe Kenyan service your security is our is our duty and is our priority so all along we immediately formed up a motor agency team to follow up on the issue of Juma we got even support from Nairobi at the DCI headquarters and now we have been on the ground since then up to now and uh, this morning the wee hours of this morning we managed to arrest seven suspects after that in interrogation we have established that two of the suspects we are holding are the ones who are involved in this heinous act we are in the advanced stage of our investigation and i can assure you and the public and the country in general that tomorrow morning the two will be facing charge before the local court wanafunzi hao sasa wanataka usalama kudumishwa katika eneo hilo Lilian Kamau Runinga ya Ibru